Damian Svilkovic is an international Knowledge Bolide crew member and a friend who lives in Croatia. He made this video to help explain and understand the four types of Martian meteorites available to collectors. Thanks, Damian. When it comes to meteorites from Mars, there are three basic types, but they are nowhere near equally represented in our finds. Shergotites are by far the most common. With more than 200 kilograms recovered, around 84% of our meteorites from Mars are of this type. Next are knocklights with 26 finds and naturally much higher price of around $400 per gram. Then we get to the really rare stuff. Chassignites with only 3 meteorites found and a total known weight of 4.5 kilograms, they represent just 2% of the total Martian meteorites. Price can easily go above $1000 per gram. Some of us are lucky enough to have the fourth type, the most beautiful of all, the Martian equivalent of the regolith breccia, known as Black Beauty and its pairings. Even with 18 individual stones found, most are of very low mass, so with the total known weight of below 1 kg, it's much rarer than even chesignites. If you think this stuff is rare, you've seen nothing yet. There is actually a fifth type. This is what I really wanted to show you today. It's Martian Ogit Basalt, and I got this tiny fragment as a surprise gift from Eric Lyon. Otherwise, I probably would never be able to afford it. It's a single 149 gram stone find and could very well be one of the rarest and most expensive meteoritic materials you can get. I will let you explore it in more detail first as I got it and then after my attempt at a bit of hand polish. Enjoy, as this is not something you see every day. To have a rare shock vein in a micro of this size was extremely lucky. I still can't believe I got it as a gift. Incredibly, this was not the only micro that was in the letter from Eric. Any guesses as to what type this could be? Not only is it a rare knocklight, but the knuckle itself. Even after three years of collecting meteorites, this is actually my first type fall. Oh yes, and there were also a couple of chasignite bits in there. It tells you a lot about the package when an ultra rare chasignite is the least interesting bit. One thing is certain, without generous help from my new friends, my collection would be nowhere near this extensive. Thank you all and I hope you found this video interesting.